Hello students, thanks for watching this video. In this video, we are going to learn about warehouse. Warehousing. Warehousing means go down. Go down. All the business organization using this go down or warehousing. Not only business organizations, business man also like a wholesaler, retailer and agents, everybody is using go down. If you take business organization, manufacturing concern, they are buying the raw material from the raw material holder then they are storing in their godown then raw material will be converted into finished goods so that is the manufacturing concerns main activity after converted into finished goods that finished goods will be stored in a godown isn't it so two godowns will be there two warehouses will be there in a business organization the wholesaler also will have godown because wholesaler will buy bulk from the organization and within one day wholesaler cannot sell all the product to his agents or retailers so he should have some good on to arrange all his products till to distribute to the retailers or agents and uh, even chain stores and some departmental stores so they are having their own good ones at present nowadays it's happening private good ones are available okay take business organization manufacturing concern in their godown they will maintain a card called bin card this card is bin card b i n bin card before test the product bin card should be touched because from the godown from the raw material godown the manufacturing concern will manufacture from raw material godown the raw material will goes to manufacturing concern then after finished goods the finished goods will be stored into another one godown that you know very well so in the raw material godown when they are taking stored raw material from the godown so that time the manufacturing organization will take raw material from raw material godown for manufacturing purpose so raw material will reduce day by day or week by week it will reduce definitely it will happen so they are called four levels are there four levels are there first one is maximum level so in this maximum level maximum number of raw materials are available and second one is minimum level minimum level means minimum number of raw materials are available and the third one is or reorder level so when the product comes down because of the usage of manufacturing concern the manufacturer should order you order to the raw material holder raw material holder from raw material holder to godown the product will come then it will be filled again then final one is danger level danger level means the danger level danger level shows the danger level of availability of raw material for manufacturing purpose in this video we are going to discuss very clearly about warehousing types of warehousing and Uh, functions of warehousing and uh, types of warehousing what are the warehouses private warehouse public warehouse bonded warehouse government warehouse cooperative warehouse one by one we are going to discuss in detail first one is private warehouse it is owned by private sector like a chain store like departmental store like a wholesaler they are having own godown so they are maintaining operational uh, level called fifo method or level lifo method fifo method or lifo method fifo method means what goods are arranged in godown first ever for example it is the godown so here it is the f1 first product is arranged here and second product f2 and f3 so like this products are arranged so first in first out it is first in into the godown now they are going to out this product out this product from the godown first they are giving first preference for first in product first in first out first in first out can you understand me what product came first into the godown that product goes out from the godown first and lifo method means what product lastly arranged for example it is f series 4 hmm? lastly arranged is f4 right so this f4 goes out first they are giving first preference for last last in product into the godown so it is lifo method so two methods are there so depends upon the situation inflation and the market uh, price range fluctuations and the quality of the products they will use this lifo or fifo methods 
and flexibility and control entirely depends upon that uh, private sector only so it is more flexible than other widows government widows have so many rules and regulations restrictions and everything it is private widow and uh, because of this flexibility can get delay relationship also it is a major benefit for private widow private warehouse and public warehousing public warehousing is used to buy traders manufacturers members from public after paid charges so public warehouses is asking charge that is owned which we have discussed already they owned it is their own warehouse but it is public warehouse but whoever wanted to use the public warehouse they should pay money minimum charges they should pay depends upon the product and how much square feet they are going to occupy this and that they, they should ask with the warehouse keeper and warehouse manager will uh, give the documents called warehouse receipt so there it is very um, there, there all the details will be available uh, if your products are stored here they are giving highly security safety to you public warehousing used to be the traders manufacturers members from public after paying charges after paid charges only can use public warehouse but what we have discussed before that is private warehouse it is owned by private isn't it that is their own warehouse but it is public warehouse here they should pay charges whoever using traders manufacturers or members from the public whoever wanted to use they can use so after get the license from the government only that particular agent can run this go down and the government gives rules and regulations rules and regulations uh operation about the good on government is regulating government is regulating owner of the warehouse is agent owner of the warehouse is agent after get the license from the government only he is going to run so his position is agent position uh, he can charge from the uh, retailer or manufacturer whoever wanted to store their product from them and the highly safety in drive even in transportation also highly safety rail and roadways it is highly safety even in train and in roadways during this traveling time also they are giving protection for the product stored product and it is benefited to the small businessman because small businessman cannot construct the good on because it is a higher in expenditure capital expenditure so the small businessman is preferring this public warehousing system next one is bonded warehousing bonded warehousing imported products will be stored what product will be stored imported product where will be usually usually it will be in port uh, or in aerodrome so if we are importing the product we cannot get the product directly from uh, the flight so after came to the port that will be arranged in a godown that is bonded warehouse there you should pay customs duty import duty and everything then only we can collect the product if we couldn't pay that to customs duty and means uh, that will be bonded that products will be bonded so it is bonded in warehouse so importer fails to pay customs duty goods will be bonded in the warehouse so imports can get product the importer can get product after paid the custom duty and taxes after paid the custom duties and taxes only importer can get the product and uh, one more things if importer couldn't pay that entire taxes and custom duty in one single installment if importer couldn't pay that customs duty and import duty he can pay that duties in installment basis at the same time government license is very important so it is government licensed warehouse system it is importer don't want to pay that duties and taxes to the government importers directly they can send without paying the duties and uh, taxes they can export the product to the from address the next one is government warehouses government warehouses these warehouses are fully owned and managed by the government owned and managed by government no private sectors so private sectors cannot store their product in government godown the government managers them do organizations set up in the public sector so public sectors are there you know psus public sector units so public sectors units products will be stored in this godown government godown so what are those public sectors food corporation of india and uh, state trading corporation sorry central warehousing corporation so these all the corporation will store their product in government warehouse cooperative warehousing 
some marketing cooperative societies or agricultural cooperative societies have set up their own warehouses for members of their cooperative society so cooperative warehousing especially made for cooperative members if member wanted to store their product they can store but they should become a member in cooperative sectors cooperative society you know cooperative student security act and cooperative act what are the rules and regulations for cooperatives and everything in our previous chapter we studied very clearly and completely about whoever being the member in the cooperative society they only can store their product in cooperative warehouse not any other agents or private sectors or private entities